Welcome to Gamer Ability. I'm your host Sixpenny and in today's video I'm going to show my first 27 minutes of gameplay for Watch Dogs Legion. In this video I will also provide a gameplay overview of, of what's available in the game and also my first impressions. This is part one of my Watch Dogs Legion playthrough series. I'm so excited to play this game. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for many more videos on Watch Dogs Legion. October 29th, 2020 is finally here, which means Watch Dogs Legion has just released. In today's video, I'm going to start by providing an overview on what's in this game and some of the options that you can change. And then I'm going to play through the prologue mission in this part one video and give you my first impressions. So the game comes with the single player campaign at launch. So the game is based in an fictionalized open world London in the near future. There is no online as of launch. The online co-op and player versus player modes are coming early in December. Right now the release date for the multiplayer modes are set for December 3rd. Now when you go to the main menu you're going to have different tutorials if you're new to the series that you can go to. Uh, you can also go to Ubisoft Connect as well you can pick rewards and different things from that. Now I'm going to dive into the options a little bit. So there's plenty of gameplay options that you can choose from. So I'll go through the gameplay options here and they also support third party other third party actions, I mean options as well. You can customize every almost every really every mouse and keyboard control and the gamepad. So as we look look at all these settings as I scroll with LB and RB across the top. And you can customize each one. Same thing for the gamepad. Everything's customizable. Now I keep in mind this is for the PC. Uh, it's not there's not that freedom on consoles. So you can also customize different HUD elements. So if you wanted to take off some of the HUD to make it a little more hardcore and a little more difficult, you can do that. Now, a big part of it is what video options they offer. And they offer a wide array. So I'm playing this game on NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super video card. I'm playing on 1440, so 2K with VSync set to normal. Now, as we look at the quality settings, I've noticed a big difference running the game on DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. I get about 10 more frames per second on DirectX 11 and I'm playing on a combination of very high and ultra settings. The only thing I really have turned down is reflections on medium. One thing that's neat about this, so I'll scroll through the different settings so you can look at them. But this game offers, if you hit the X button on controller or B button on the keyboard, you can run a benchmark that will test in about a minute segment. It'll test your frames per second. And it's really neat. So I did this about eight times before I chose these settings. And today, NVIDIA just released their drivers for Watch Dogs Legion as well. And I've noticed improvements after that. So I had a chance to play it before it and after. So that's the settings. Let's go ahead and jump into the campaign. I'm going to start a new game. So I already have, I did a test one today to try to figure out the settings and another test one to try the settings after the Infidia, Infidia drivers came out and it did so much better after the driver came out. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm going to have it on hard difficulty and I'm going to turn permadeath mode on. So on, when permadeath mode is on, when your character dies in the save, they're they're out of the out of that save forever. Now it doesn't activate till a certain mission in the game, so it's not right away. So I'm so excited to start. Now I know it's been kind of a rough start for performance. For I know there's been a lot of crashes and stuff like that, but hopefully the Nvidia drivers has helped. I personally have not experienced any crashes, but I'm so excited for this game. I will tell you what I've played so far. I've spent about three hours just testing different video settings. I'm loving the open world game so far and the play as anyone feature. Ah, London. What a town. History around every corner and a tourist photographing it. Pub serving up a pint and a smile. 
all that music, theatre and art, and multiculturalism, and the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. What's our status? Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bagley? If you haven't rushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. We'll have to sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. All right, so here we go. Operation Westminster. Investigate the threat to the parliament. So you saw Sabina, who is the leader of DeadSec, and then you met Dalton as the character we're taking over now. He, has, he reminds me kind of of that 007 type. Uh, the, and then we had the computer AI system is Bagley. All right, so one thing you'll notice, they added a crouch button. So on the controller, it's left click. So finally, Watch Dogs added a toggle crouch crouch button this needed to have been in the game for a while so take down the guard here an awesome that takedown you, more than it hurt me and then you can open up hacking with lb one thing that's cool this year is that they changed the hud to where it actually shows what the button is so instead of just icons it says open close so let's open the door do us a favor and keep it quiet dalton if they don't shoot me i won't shoot them how's that Another thing that, yeah, if they don't shoot us, we won't shoot them. So one thing that's neat too, so it's, and that's different than the other game. A is vault, and what's, right trigger is actually how you sprint. So in, in the last game, if you held down right trigger, you'd automatically parkour. This game, if you hold down right trigger to sprint, and then you hold down A, you're going to automatically parkour as well. So you're going to hold down both. All right, so we have an access point here, so it's locked. So we have to trace it back to the access point and unlock it. All right, so another guard here. Let's get down. Oh, so I'm going to set a trap here. So you can see, LB, I can explode it with Y. I can attract a guard to it, or I can just set a trap. So I'm going to set a trap, and it's going to blow up the guard. And it's going to be a non-lethal blow. So this game gives you a lot of opportunities to use non-lethal options. All right, so let's... Got both non-lethally. Alright, so let's just... Let's just knock out the guard. Ooh, that was a cool takedown. And one thing that I've noticed, a lot of the characters have different takedown abilities and different melee. What? How did they get pretty neat. And different different parkour abilities. Someone wants to make it look like DeadSec was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Extreme caution. Who are these men in black Let's anyway? Just set traps, might as well. Them. I suspect that's by design. This is a, this is a great prologue. We start sneaking in. Oh, fuck me. Ooh, look at all these bombs. Jesus, those canisters. So in this game, instead of hitting A, it, if you played the last Watchdog games, you're going to hit the wrong button right away. So it's actually B to get behind cover instead of A. Now you'll hit A to corner, like this, 
and I don't see an option to snap from cover to cover. So you can get behind corner, but you can't hold down B to automatically run to the next cover. Alright, so we're going to actually fight. So they revamped the combat, the fighting mechanics to where you actually punch, break guard, and dodge instead of just one melee button, which is it's so much better. See, break the guard. There we go. Boom. Look at that finisher. Those guards can't hear very well, right? So if you face them straight up, so what I can do, I can hit LB and disrupt them. I like fighting more than I do just taking them down stealth. <laughs> Boom, look at that kick. Boom. They lo I've noticed the characters love those roundhouse kicks on this game. These pricks are going to blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. And I like the way it shows up on the left side of the screen who's talking. It shows up the little avatar of Sabina over there. Alright, looks like we found the way in. Just kick in the door. of commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the center of government. Yeah, so they they set up right in the center of parliament here. So what I'm going to do, you can see these many different objects you can set traps. I love to set traps in this game, so I'm going to hold down LB, hit A. There is a cooldown timer. You can see I can't hit trap right away. There's a small cooldown for each hack. And some of the characters have decreased cooldown times the hackers all right I set enough traps let's see if we can figure out what's going on here I found the detonator and it's definitely live Bagley I'm gonna need some help with this yes you are but sadly I'm locked out fuck well, we don't have a chance without Bagley wait, wait. I might know a workaround. We trained your manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize it. So fair warning. Expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. All right, they found us, and they found our headquarters. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. All right, here we go. Let's take them down. We're going to go loud. No need to stealth. Update. So why is reload on this game? So your health does regen. And the game does have a generous amount of aim assist. Alright, 56%. Almost got it defused. I, the combat mechanics feel so good in this game. That's one thing I will say. The 
enemies seem to have a little more health than in the last game. But they also seem to be wearing body armor as well. So, But still, they definitely have more health. But headshots are very damaging. But not every headshot that I've noticed does not seem to be one shot. Or maybe I'm just not hitting in the head when I think I am. There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... <sighs> Bombs defused. <laughs> See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. You now we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the town conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Alright, so they trapped us, they tricked us, they broke into headquarters. Let's see if we can make it to the roof. Sabine, what's you can see on? as you run over bodies, you're going to pick up their ammo. Uh, here's an ammo refill station. Alright, so this door, if they're red, that means you can't access them right away. So you have to find the access point or access key. So you can hit right click to not only scan enemies, but you can scan things you can hack. So there's a camera here on this left side. So I'm going to hold down LB, hit Y, hijack. Alright, so oh, there's the access code right there. So I'm going to download the data. Okay. Down. Now, some you're characters have faster downloading as well. Dalton, That'll goes. be a specific ability. It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. Alright, so yeah, the Sabina's in a battle. Headquarters is in a battle. This is really torn south. So this character also has an MP5. So you can see the captain. The captain had those... Oh, whoa. That was a close one. That one came right up from behind. That was... He was sneaky. Alright, so you can see the captains above their head. They have more health, more armor. And captains can call in reinforcement on this game. Go get him. Or her. Oh. Alright. There's the roof. We found it. Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. There's not much fun. 
But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Oh no. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Wow, they tricked us, they played us, they took DeadSec down, and I was sad to see Dalton get taken out. Devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected... This evening, mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused press on press conference the today at 10 Downing Street where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down DedSec, the terrorist group responsible for their force. Albion used cutting edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of DedSec. A stark warning to would be insurgents. Corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. A long overdue cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, drug trafficking, and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden and Brixton. As Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the deployment Big of... news outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few... ...to reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news Conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DedSec were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply do not support any other story. So they framed DedSec. They said not a, not a person in London believes that DedSec was innocent or framed. But let's build a resistance and let's take back London. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DedSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. So see that Sabine survived. Right, so we get to take over the spider bot. So that's a new the spider bot is a new gadget in this game. So you can jump with it. So this is an infiltrator spider bot. So it's just used to navigate, hack. But you can also get a combat one that you can use to knock people out. This is one of my favorite new mechanics. I love the spider bot. Alright, so let's hack this. Hackable Bloom Router. We uploaded a virus. So let's jump up. Alright, we're in the Bloom Data Center. We need to access three different data clusters. Let's get the first one here. So you can hear the conspiracy series that last person said that it makes sense that they were the frame dead sex. Alright, so we're hacking it. 
We hacked Bloom Towers. Let's see if we can find somebody to help us to restart and form the resistance. Shit. Situation is worse than I thought. Ah, uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope. All right, so you get to choose to start the game. You'll have a different cast of characters, and I've noticed that each time I play, there's a different type. Of, there's different types of characters. So this concludes my part one video. So I'll go ahead and show some of the characters here. We have the athlete Heidi Wasaki. She completed a marathon with a broken ankle, physically fit, take less damage. That's pretty awesome. And then we have a depth collector who starts with a pistol. Discharge from armed forces for insubordination. You can also click right click and look at their bio as well. So there's a songwriter there. Only gets a clothing discount. So we have a game developer, serial entrepreneur. She had, who has shorter team arrest time. Wrote her, this one wrote a five star review of a pub. So there's a lot of, this one was banned for life from a London Zoo, MP5. One thing I've noticed, so it's different name. Each time you start a campaign, you, you have the same abilities, but all the characters are different at the beginning. So named wise and looks. Now when you get into the game world, you're going to have like 10 million or more people that you can choose from. Whether they're enemies, Albion, police officers, anybody you can attempt to recruit. All right, so I'm going to think about this, and then in part two, you'll see the character I picked. I will tell you, I'm feeling, the, I mean, completed a marathon with a broken ankle. I mean, seriously? That's incredible. So this may be the character. All right, well, thank you for watching this video to the end. I've really enjoyed the prologue of this game, and also I played it for three hours, kind of roaming around the open world and testing different video settings and that I've and I'm loving it I, the open world is so in-depth and what's one thing that's so cool that you'll see in the future videos is that say if I interact with somebody and say I knocks a random civilian out I did this in a playthrough earlier and then later on I saw a lawyer walking around that already had two thumbs down because I beat up one of her clients and she approached us and was upset and and talked to us and wanted to fight us so the game just ha does a really good job of making you think so when you're walking down the street and you'll think twice before just punching somebody or when you're driving a car if you mess up and run over somebody what if you hit one of the rarest characters in the game what if you hit a character that you really like? Or what if you hit them and put them in the hospital and then their family member comes after one of your teammates? So this it's just a very in-depth system and I've just scratched the surface on it. I'm so excited to see everything in action as we keep playing through. Stay tuned for many more Watch Dogs Legions videos and make sure you follow me on Twitch and turn on notifications to see when I'm going live and f subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you can know when I'm live streaming on YouTube and when new videos go live. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and keep coming back for more content like this and to improve your gamer ability.